Satanists in schools. <laughs> Satanists demand equal access to school clubs in a lawsuit. Hold on to your hats, folks, because there's some devilish conspiracy brewing in Pennsylvania. <laughs> the uh, Sal Salcon Valley School District is facing a potential lawsuit from the ACLU and the Satanic Temple after allegedly denying them access to school grounds for religious activities. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU, the After School Satan Club, or ASSC for short, was initially allowed to use the facilities for their activities, but was rejected and denied after backlash and threats from the community. Meanwhile, a Bible organization called the Good News Club can still use public grounds for meetings. The ASSC doesn't actually teach children to worship the devil, despite the ominous name. The Satanic Temple doesn't believe in a literal Satan, but instead sees him as a symbol of resistance against authoritarianism and um, the religious right. They just want to be allowed to use the school facilities like any other religious organization. If the discrimination against them continues, the ACLU is threatening to take legal action against the school district on behalf of the ASSC and the Satanic Temple. This is fantastic. Let's bring yes. this up. So let me give a little bit of background. So many years ago, there was a decision that religious organizations are allowed to give at public schools are allowed to operate extracurricular clubs for children at public schools that ex explicitly evangelize or are explicitly religious. And this happened because of a group called the Good News Club. And so the Good News Club operates after school activity clubs at public schools across the nation in many, many different states. And so the Satanic Temple is saying, cool, so you're going to have a religious club for kids at your school? We are, we are too. We are too. Our school, our club is called the After School Satan Club. And it's actually really cool. We watched a video about it before. Do you remember? It was a little cartoon. And there yeah, was a little go. It was, it was teaching the kids go. science. So they basically just teach the kids about like science and inquiry and curiosity and like rationalism. Like, it's very, it's kind of more, it's very cute. Um, and they have like a little, a little goat as the mascot. I love it. Um, and so the Satanic Temple has stated that they aim to, they aim to create an after school Satan club at, every school that currently has a good news club. So like, okay, at every school that they have a Christian extracurricular activity, we're gonna do the same. And mm -hmm. they've been doing this at many different schools and we've covered this. And there has always been a lot of backlash against them every time that they do it. And so they were trying to do that at the school district in Pennsylvania. And originally the, um, uh, the the this school district gave them permission and then apparently they received so many threats that they felt like they had to back off and uh, i read i went and i found the legal letter that the aclu wrote to the school district and in the legal letter that the lawyers have written to the school district they talk about how that the individual who's making these threats against the school district has already been arrested and ascertained by, I think, federal authorities. <laughs> and um, not only was the school district threatened by a person who has now been arrested, but the Satanic Temple itself had some very serious threats because of this particular um, school opening. And that person has also either been arrested or the authorities are looking into it. So basically in the letter, they're saying, okay, the authorities are already handling the threats. Now you essentially have no reason to continue legally to keep discriminating against us. And um, the fact that you gave us this permission and then you revoked it when there are former court cases that show that the presence of these threats alone is not enough to deter us from ex exercising our constitutional rights. Um, you have to, you have to, you have to give us access to your school. <laughs> give us access to the school grounds. Um, give, us, give us your children. Give uh. us your children. <laughs> um, so are they going to succeed? 
I don't. Well, okay. So they 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 have they have sent out the threat. They have sent mm. out the threat of a lawsuit. We'll see how the school district responds. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. But this we is need what this it all takes. over the world. <laughs> this is this is fighting for secularism in America. We need this all over the world. How could you, how could we make this happen all over the world? Why is this only a U.S. thing? It's not well, fair. I mean, we need to get the rest of the world up to a level where they don't criminalize blasphemy. Um, yeah. So, but that's we need the satanic threat. <laughs> I know, I know, but that would be like if you want if you want religion in school or in you know government, then you know Satanism is going to follow. Like we need that for the sake of secularism, and we need that to be always a threat to them. The closest I, thing that it, that they have that I found outside of the states is um, the Dingoism, and Dingoism is an Indian yeah. thing. Of uh, I know, but they're not afraid. People are not panicking. I know over people it. are not afraid. Yeah. yeah. You're not afraid. And in, yeah. in the U.S., it doesn't work very well if it's Islam. In India, it definitely doesn't work well oh. if you try to use Islam. We don't so wanna, gotta we don't find wanna, something else. Yeah, we don't want to threaten people with an actual religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We want it to be a made-up fake. You know, I mean, they're all made up, but with a religion that is not actually a religion. Yeah. Um. By the way, I saw it's actually getting popular. Like I saw people. T- positively talking about satanism on more mainstream media like what like, like philip defranco had a segment and oh, yeah. they were like constantly praising satanism and like oh like this is not like not what you think this they don't actually believe in satan they're into like science and inquiry and skepticism and they use satanism as a symbol i'm like this is a you know this is like more mainstream and like they're giving such a positive take on satanism i think like it might be the religion of the future you know at some point. i don't know i kind of wish that they had a different name because i only feel comfortable like giving that praise to the satanic temple specifically because especially after living in san francisco like i knew some like real ass satanists like yeah. levian satanists not all not all believing satanists are levian just because of San Francisco connection they were, but um, who, yeah, are like actually into the dark arts. <laughs> so I kind of wish they had a different name because like not all Satanists are the same. Some of them actually are actually satanic. No. <laughs> they have a different name, those people. Yeah, but it's okay. Um, let's move on to more Indian news. Yes, young atheist is asking Susanna, how's your health? I'm doing so much better today. Thank you for asking. Oh, thank you for asking. That's very kind. Wait. Um, oh, look, we have like Katie saying, I have a real ass believing Satanist friend in real life. Okay, wow. Okay. Secular <laughs> okay. skies aren't Levian Satanists also atheistic Satanists. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. been a while since I've studied this. I think that they are, but they seem to. They're not, I think my understanding is that they have some belief in the power of something. They 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 let you decide. I don't know if it's like energy or if it's like the collective subconscious or like magic, right? So they're not. Well, no, they let you decide whether you think that's symbolic or not. Oh. So, but, but most of them think it's symbolic. Yeah, but then they're all. Uh, that's why I'm saying that there's many different types. I said beyond Levian, there's also the yeah. kind that like no, th- this this is something that they really believe in. Yeah, but none none of these are actually those actually serious. Like I actually believe in the devil, and I think he's like I worship him. Like none of these groups that we mentioned are that. They're very yeah, rare. Those people are very very rare. There's not that many of them. Yeah. Yeah, I know those people. Do you know them? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art. <laughs> 